Welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm a little bit upset today. Welcome once again. If you have not seen it yet, I just reacted on the latest Promise Neverland episode. And yes, they are going original and they definitely changed a lot. Now, I, I did release a video like two days ago talking about the changes. I was a little bit wrong on my timeline of the changes that I actually did. Um, they basically have forgotten about six or seven uh, volumes. They, this whole you know, story here in the manga, it's trash. It, it really is. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Well, they're making their own thing. They're making it better. I do understand that. But at the same time, some of the stuff that they are taking away is crucially important to understand how the demon world actually works and they're trying to give it to us by passing comments of demons in the market and i don't like that <sighs> before i continue you guys if you haven't done so by now subscribe for more promise neverland videos uh also i will have another giveaway on the 15th of this month uh i don't typically do videos like this a lot uh, but they've done a lot of changes it needs to be spoken it needs to be talked about and today's episode i i, I will say this is not a spoiler-free episode uh, or video. I will talk about the most current episode in some detail. So if you don't want that first, the fifth episode of The Promise Neverland Season 2 ruined, don't watch this video. That is crucial. Again, don't watch this video if you don't want the fifth episode or the manga ruined. Okay. So a year has passed. These kids are basically fugitives, and they're living off this temple of the evil-blooded uh, demon, which we know... If you're a manga reader, you know who that is. I'm not going to say who, but you know who that is. Uh, point is, Emma essentially, uh, and, and Ray and Don and um, the girl, I forgot her name. They go out in the markets and they're getting this food. And essentially, through, through those scenes, we get some information on how the demon sociology, I guess, works. You know, how you have these demons at the bottom that are basically dying now because they don't get any meat and they basically made the implication in this episode that you need human meat to stay in your human form or else you're gonna degenerate until the wild demons that they've been seeing in the forest uh that is all okay now i completely forgot that they were actually in the shelter for quite a bit i could have sworn they weren't but i guess they were um, and in between that shelter scenes that we've seen in episode three and four, there's this whole huge arc right here where essentially um, Emma gets captured and she ends up in this hunting ground place where some of the more richer demons, like the higher ups, essentially have their fun. They still want that a craving of hunting for a human they talked about it in the in the anime how demons really have evolved in the way of they just eat off the farms and there's a lot of them one of those demons that we saw already they are wanting and craving for the ability of hunt and that whole arc tells us that as well as so much other information and it prepares us for the arc that they apparently are going to start here. Um, from what I've seen, season two might as well be the last season of The Promised Neverland. Um, it pretty much looks like it's going that direction. Is that good? If you weren't a manga reader, maybe. But if you read the manga, again... They're throwing all of this to the trash, and it's annoying. You know, that's seven episodes, sorry, seven volumes, which can add up to maybe about 50 chapters. They basically said, eh, we're not going to do that. We can just explain it in a few different scenes here and there. And at the end of episode five, again, this is not a spoiler-free video, so if you don't want the fifth episode spoiled, don't watch this at this point. But episode 5, they reveal one of the most dramatic reveals in this manga series. You go through chapter after chapter after chapter uh, thinking, 
of what might have happened. Is he dead? Is he not? And they do it so fast in this series. It it doesn't give you like they they should have done a whole season before they reveal that Norman is freaking alive. And that's what they did in this episode. Now, I do realize uh, Norman, Ray, and Emma are like the main characters. And they, you know, he being a main character, they shouldn't have hidden him from the crowd. But his reveal of him being alive was such a critical and important and huge reveal. And the reason it was was because you read volume after volume after volume not knowing that he was alive. Uh, Basically, this whole anime said, nah, we're not going to make it that intense. We're just going to show it to you pretty quickly. And we're going to get rid of all this arc and all these characters that we probably just don't need. Um, I kind of feel like they're going to rush it to end this season. And I'm upset because... This could have been a four-season, easily anime, maybe five seasons even, um, with maybe a better ending. I, I do understand a lot of people didn't like the ending. I personally, I was in the more didn't like ending category. That's okay. The last maybe four chapters were kind of weird and I would say dumb. But change that. Don't change the entire thing, you know? why ruin arcs that clearly and, and Twitter has gone mad and, and, and social media has gone mad on these episodes. Um, I'm not going to drop it. I'm not going to drop this enemy. I'm still going to react to it, but I want to react to it because I want to see how much more they're going to take away from the actual good story. The promise Neverland was in the manga. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of the anime viewers, at this point, maybe some of you guys don't even care. They're like, okay, well, whatever. I don't read the manga. I'm just going to watch these series and enjoy it for what it is. That's okay. Just know that those people that did invest their time to reach the manga are mad. They're upset. At least, I would say, the manga readers are confused by what's happening right now with Season 2 of The Promised Neverland. So, uh, a lot of them have already promised to leave it. I'm not going to leave it. I'm still going to stay here until the end, but I really want to make this video to vent out, so <laughs> thank you so much for watching this. Subscribe. Typically, I'm nicer, but today, I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm done with, with them <laughs> jumping around too much, so thank you guys for your love and support. Like always, don't be strangers. See you guys.